Well, you're planning now on re releasing a special edition of Ghost Referees. Yeah. Um, was it um, to look back to the documentary? Um, what did you learn or not learn? What do you think of it? I think it's great. Have you seen it? No. no. It's, uh, no, it's uh, funny, you know. It uh, presents the band very, very laid back, you know. It's mixed up with interviews of... It's mainly me and Peter doing interviews, but we also have some stuff that we filmed ourselves on tour, which is... At the time when we did it, it was like, oh, this is just bollocks, you know, it's not, not going to be used, but it's quite funny, actually, and there's some... Uh, short live clips and everything and you know it's uh, gives a new picture and then you, g you get a new idea on the band when you see that but did you also get it for yourself while looking back you think well hey maybe the band is differently than you had in your mind no not really you know we're, we're, I'm perfectly aware of what we are you know we've been around for 16 years so there was nothing not a wake-up call in any way to see that it was just I think it was fun and it was a healthy it gives a healthy picture of the band. It gives a good picture of us as persons, because a lot of people have the perception that we're, uh, you know, really boring, serious guys. You know, who only care about the music. The music, obviously, is what comes firsthand. And that's if we could only be known for our music. That's fine with me. But once now we have the medium of uh, DVDs and stuff like that. So I like to present us like the persons that we really are. You know. Also, you know, it's it's it's, uh, it's fun. You know, once you see it, I think you'll agree. It's it's quite it's quite good. Okay. And for you, um, well, you change now drummers, Martin yeah. to Martin. Um, will it change maybe the songwriting or maybe the sound of the band? Or well, that's that's uh, <coughs> that we'll we'll know only when, when once we record the next record. When you're doing live gigs, obviously we're a tightly knit unit now. It's uh, we play great. Right now we're at, on top form. Hopefully, you'll <laughs> hopefully we'll tonight too. But you know, we, we're uh, the live gigs are fantastic. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, the recordings will be the same. You know, I'm, Lopez was a very very strong force with the writing because he, even though I wrote many of the drum parts, he made them become reality and changed them to be what you hear on the record. So I'm, I'm just hoping that I'm going to have the same kind of. Uh, communication with Axe, who's playing drums now. Uh, but I'm, I'm not too concerned. I think it's going to be good. I'm a bit nervous, but it's going to be... We're going to make sure it's it's fantastic. You know? well, and then my last question, because you're already looking. Um, have you already written some new, rich material, or is it still...? Yeah, I have some. Not so much. We'd, we'd been touring. To no end, really. We've been touring since June last year, so it's uh, I don't, haven't had much time to write, really. But uh, I come up with a few riffs arrangements that are, re I think, are really good. You know. And do you have any idea where 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 it will go, music-wise, or is it still too fresh? Yeah, it's kind of still too fresh. But uh, there's one record that very much influenced me, which almost ties a little bit back to David Coverdale because I bought a record from. Uh, a guy called Scott Walker, uh, who used to be big in the 60s with the Walker Brothers. And he did solo albums in the 60s and 70s, and now he put out a new record called The Drift, which is like a very disturbing piece of music. And uh, <clears throat> that is bound to inspire me. And I, you know, I don't want to rip him off or anything, and I'm sure it's going to be completely different, but I want to take a lot of influence from that record. You mean mood-wise? Mood mood-wise, yeah? yes. Okay, oh, yeah, that, yeah, that album is orchestrated, pretty much. It's strings and... Uh, uh, but uh, the, the musical language on that record is something that's very new and something that I want to adapt and move it into metal, okay, you know. Yeah, what is this? If you have to say one word, what, what sort of mood will it... Disturbing. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I will send an email when it's online. Sorry? I will send an email when the interview is online. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. You can link again and then we have the open history. Great, fantastic, yeah. Top. Okay. Okay, thanks guys. Can I take it from you? Yeah, okay.